Odudua group reveals the only religion that it will accept in the Odudua Republic. Check it out. Religion is a sacred way of life of a people and can also mean a set or a set of principles that are held so dear by a group of people and reflected in their lifestyle. Religion is an integral part of African lives. More so are Nigerians who take pride in religion and view it very seriously. The constant agitations to break out for some independent state in Nigeria like the Odudua Republic and Biafra have given rise to the fear that some religion might be eliminated or may be banned should the agitators succeed in their quest for a new nation since most of its religions are regarded as Western religion or the white man's religion. Addressing, the, addressing these fears, the Odudua group in their Twitter handle has tweeted that it will tolerate all religions. The handle tweeted, in our Odudua Republic, traditional worship, Islam and Christianity and all religions will be accepted. We recognize that we are calling on the same God who has assured us of victory. That's good. And the specific tweet, um... In our Dudua Republic, traditional worship, Islam and Christianity and all religions will be tolerated. We respect calling, we respect the truth that we are all calling on the same God who has told us he will give us victory to dissolve the unholy union called Nigeria. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I don't think with how the world has, you know, progressed and basically changed, I, it would be unwise to... <laughs> business wise economy wise investment wise everything wise it would be unwise to discriminate or allow only one religion i mean that's you're literally alienating yourself from the world and also interacting on a global stage which doesn't make sense because you're doing it to your detriment and of course it shouldn't be it shouldn't i mean obviously religion is taken very seriously in the country so it's like <laughs> even amongst you know yoruba people who by genetics or by ethnicity or by race or whatever you're gonna call it they are you no know, from odudua so it's like they might be odudua but then they might not necessarily want to go through the traditional worship route and that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't take away from the fact that they are from odudua so yeah um someone says freedom is not moi moi kaseo Okay, without shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Are you ready? Wait, without shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Are you ready for the price? What? Who said we had to die? <laughs> don't know. Don't know what religion that is. Um, someone says religion cannot divide us. We are wise. I mean, yes, yeah, true. We be our friends know what to do. Ah, it's a bit of a sticky one. Do you think that be our friends would allow Islam? Because I think that it's very it's a very touchy subject i don't i i don't know about i don't know about i don't know about it in, in biafra would islam be allowed because it's just tight tensions or let's just say that for argument's sake it's it's basically the northern leaders that you know the the beef i'd say is with but then obviously that should not necessarily translate it should necessarily translate into um the region itself the region simply serves as an umbrella to justify certain things which <laughs> the religion that might not necessarily represent so yeah um another comment here says if we all gently and in the manners that we don't want war is not that yorubas are coward which ever way self-government for yoruba succession or restructuring we are tired of the clueless rulers that is true i think that at this point in a way nigerians being selfish is kind of good because you know no one is necessarily ready to go <laughs> go for war um but then again, they, we don't have to... There's no point in shedding blood. We've learned. It's like, come on, we've had the biggest wars. We we know history. And it's like, we, yet again, we can't find ways to resolve issues without shedding blood. It's like, have we really learned? It's, it's a bit... Nah. Someone says, oh, did we a mature country in the making? Again, it's every country is mature on paper when it comes to the implementation and for the fact that people are recyclable. Again, we have different people that will represent the you know, theoretical mature maturity of a nation. But then, you know, you let a constitution again, if you have different people every four years that come to represent that constitution, you would have to you would have to expect that there's a difference in the way the constitution is implemented. Yeah, someone says good idea, no religion, no nation. Okay. Someone says Mumu people. I don't know why this person will say that, but yeah. Someone says it is beginning to get interesting. Traditional worship will no longer be on the back seat, but on front as it were. 
when Ududua Republic come on board, Jesus said, give what is Caesar's to Caesar. Okay, fair point. Someone says, waiting to see my father's nation. And again, I think that... Um, Obviously, the world is changing. We're gonna, well, the evolution is obviously going to happen, but as a general thing, I think that being as a as a as Africans and as our origin, as where we're from, it, theoretically, our tradition and style of worship should sort of be in the majority. But it is not, and I guess it is what it is. Again, free will. You have to do whatever you want to do. Uh, someone here says that is the right thing to do. There should be tolerance for all, irrespective of individual beliefs. Freedom of worship is important in every society. It is a welcome idea. You have to. You like it would be unwise to do such. And I guess it's such basic common knowledge. I guess yeah. It says, but the Fulani are Muslims. So what? I mean, did you not? <laughs> I don't think that would be a problem. Okay. Um. Someone says no to Fulani people and their religion. Ah. Well, if that's your well, you're not. I guess it's what the people agree to have, but I think that in uh, Odudua it might be. It's more. It's highly likely that you know what religions or of everywhere would be widely accepted. Um, and to be honest, Odudua, I think I think I think as Yoruba people need to really go deep into their research on how like they've evolved because, honestly, like if you go to with our history, of course, we're slaves. You know, went into the Americas. If you if you guys look at Brazil, like they still retain, you know, Odudua kind of worship all that till it's with every kind of detail. Of course, there there you know there are differences and of course it has of course it has progressed, but the basic and the actual core of Odudua worship and all that and the religion is actually or the traditional worship is actually still very intact, especially in Brazil, and it's actually very shocking because obviously that's where our ancestors were taken to, and of course. You know, for the fact that it was preserved so much. And I think that apart from all the religions and all the traditional worship and all that, I think the Yorubas, uh, I think that the, theirs was retained to the fullest up till now. I think with, let's say, other parts of West Africa, I think the religion sort of died along the way, which is obviously, you know, it's, it's out of our control. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, another comment here says... Um, Odudua, oh yes, um, that's all days in a week will be assigning to one religion or the other. I don't know if this person's been sarcastic or whatever. Someone says, um, that would be a nice, a welcome, nice one. Odua Republic of Western World. I can't wait to see this actualized. Amen. Um, of course, we'll see how it is. Um, we've got issues to face first, but yeah, put what you think about this in the comment section below, and do not forget to like and subscribe.